I'm so excited to tell you I've put together a 28 day wall Pilates plan all with workouts from my YouTube channel, Rachel's Fit Pilates. At the end of this video, I will show the plan so that you can see what it is like. And if you'd like to print off this plan, I will also have a link where you can click that and then download the plan, print it off, check it off each day if that's easier for you to follow. So to go over the plan, the classes range from 10 to about 25 or 30 minutes. It's about 100 minutes of movement per week. All the classes will be saved in a playlist that I'll have linked below. And like I said before, you can download the plan if you'd like to follow along that way. Now, how is wall Pilates different from other workouts? Wall Pilates is a very low impact way to challenge and strengthen the body. And it's not something that you would normally get in a studio because technically it's not Pilates. As instructors, we learn hundreds of exercises for the reformer and for the mat. We don't get that with wall Pilates. So when I plan these workouts, I think, how can I take this reformer exercise and put it on the wall and simulate it as best as possible. Many of the wall Pilates workouts you'll see on here are not from Pilates instructors and are not even Pilates exercises. So for me as an instructor, I'm trying to give you the best Pilates experience possible and to really guide you through in the way that we normally would teach Pilates to help you get the most out of the movements. As an instructor, I know that aesthetic goals or goals just about changing the way that you look are not the best goals for you to stay consistent. I have seen so many things about wall Pilates, tightening your core or burning fat, and I want you to know that that's truly not what Pilates is about. For me, Pilates has allowed me to feel a lot stronger in my core, to really connect to my core even when I do other workouts like weightlifting. It's helped strengthen my pelvic floor after having children. It's helped me to value body weight movements and realize how much I really can do at home without a lot of equipment. And overall, just having a greater appreciation for my body and for choosing a type of exercise that I actually enjoy doing. So if you can find other reasons why you want to do any type of movement, whether it's Pilates or something else, that is truly what will help you to stay consistent and to ultimately change the way your body looks if that is a goal for you. I'm so excited for you to start this plan and I invite you to find a friend or family member who could do the workout with you. You can share this video, let them know what you're doing, print the workout out together, and kind of connect in this different and fun, unique, interesting way to move your body. Now you may see there's a few pieces of equipment that I use in some of the workouts, but they're optional and I try to provide options if you do not have them. I will link below the piece of equipment I use and where you can find them. I'll tell you now, I use a set of dumbbells, ankle weights, a stability or ab ball, and there's one workout that I use a band. If you don't have a band, that's fine. You could always choose a different workout that day or use a resistance band and tie it as resistance for your legs. I'm glad so many of you have an interest in wall Pilates and my hope for you is at the end of this plan, you feel stronger, more confident, feel like you can really get a great workout at home, that you can be consistent with something and really feel proud about yourself. So let's get started.